Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So you get a bonus video today because Shadow High once again is driving me crazy and they leaked, I guess you could say, Rainbow High series for sneak peeks. Obviously this is being posted by actual MGA, but you know the Shadow Rainbow High rivalry, it's it's pretty strong from what we know. So um, Shadow High still isn't like out yet. I know some people have found them in stores. Your girl has not been one of those yet, but fingers crossed. I will get them soon. But they decided to, you know, give us some sneak peeks of Rainbow High Series 4. Now, I don't know when these are being released. Obviously, there's all these rumors and speculations. There's also rumors and speculations of the colors. But from these, I'm not quite sure how different they like there's one that I'm kind of confused about and we'll talk about that so this is just my overall opinion because I've been getting a lot of questions um have you seen them what do you think of them so I just thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make a video so I haven't watched anyone else's video on these I'm gonna do my usual disclaimer if you are new here and you do not know I am legally blind so if I see something and it is completely like off the wall to what it actually is or what you're seeing it is just hashtag blind girl probs so i'm sorry but you guys seem to really love when i react to things like this so let's begin back when it was revealed there was going to be a series four there were colors that were released from what i've seen of these it looks like they're kind of staying true to that and this one is supposed to be burgundy and i'm so freaking happy that they are giving us another red doll ruby has been just holding the red family together all by her little self for way too long i'm so so excited this one's makeup looks really cool she does obviously have red hair and white in it as well and then they have like this style is like very intricate i don't even know like how you would even uh, but this might be one that i might not ever take out her hairstyle because of how you know intricate it looks but we will see i'm very anxious to see the different um hair styles and hopefully lengths that will come in this line what you guys are going to see in the next couple photos with the next few characters is this line is very very i want to say like experimental and i mean that in a completely good way it looks really really cool so i wish i could see more of this one but i really wish i could see more of all of them but just from this i'm excited she is the one i was the most excited for because I am a big fan of the color red, and like I said earlier, the red family is lacking, so I'm really excited for Miss Burgundy. This one is supposed to be neon orange, and I really, really like her, and I'm not really a big fan of orange, but the obvious is she appears to have um, a henna tattoo on her hand, which is actually interesting. Rainbow High's never done anything like that before. I'm a big fan of the big gold jewelry. I just, oh my god, I love big gold jewelry. It's amazing. I think her lips look really nice. Her hair appears to be long from what we can see. I don't really know how long it is. Her outfit looks really, really good. I think this is one of the few, you know, um, this is the most we see of an outfit. I think there could be one other, but I really am not an orange fan, but this one, I, I don't know, like Simone is one of my favorite dolls too from Pacific Coast. So this one looks really, really cool to me too. This is where I get kind of confused because in the original lineup of the leaks, they said there was going to be a pink boy, but obviously like none of this is confirmed, confirmed. So this appears to be a doll in the yellow family and she is blonde with gray eyes and glasses. Now the gray eyes is a new eye color, which is so cool. Love it. Um, she's blonde. So you guys know I'm excited for her because the Harper and Marissa are two of my absolute favorites. I just, I really love blonde rainbow high dolls. I don't know what it is. I know that like since they're rainbow high, obviously they're all supposed to come with like unnatural hair colors. You know what I mean? But I really love when they kind of mix it up and stuff like that. So another big thing is um, she comes with glasses and yes, we have been given a ton of sunglasses, but we've never actually had a rainbow high doll with glasses glasses. So I'm really, really stoked about that. Um, she's got freckles, super, super cute. Um, taking a closer look at her, I did notice that she had white mascara and that's really freaking cool. So I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome. So she, we get to see like her full eye and I really like that. Although I'm like, wait, what does the rest of you look like? I'm such an impatient person and I, I don't know. Now I'm like going to be thinking about these all the time. Like what does the full doll look like? And this one, I really, really love this one as well. Emerald green is over here, like slaying it out of the park. So you guys know green is my least favorite color, but this... 
oh my lord. So something super special about her that I noticed right away, and I'm sure all of you did too, is she actually has vitiligo. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly, and that is something very, very unique. I personally have never seen it in any doll line ever. I don't know if any doll with this exists, but I think this is really cool and unique, so I'm very anxious to see what the rest of her looks like. Her earrings are very large, and I, I love that. I love the choker. I'm a big fan of the sequins and then whatever furry thing she appears to be wearing. I don't I don't want to speculate like who's going to be my favorite just yet, but I think I think she might be one I really really like. I can't wait to see her eye color. I don't know if it will be like some type of green. I mean, more more brown eyes would be nice, more gray eyes would be super cool, but I don't know if they'd put, well, maybe they would put multiple gray eyes, but she might look really really good with brown eyes or or green ones honestly. So she's she's going to be cool and she might, I don't know, cuz you guys know I'm not a big fan of purple, but I'm a big fan of winter break violet i talk about her in every video so um this one might change my opinion on the color green but we shall see cobalt blue was the one i was like the second most excited for after burgundy and i'm kind of sad not because of the doll but because she is the one i feel like we have like the least amount that we can see she has these very large sunglasses on and you guys know i'm not a big fan of rainbow high sunglasses my girls don't like wear them at all she has a very large earring with the dangling age which you already know the other side most likely says r i did notice her lip color i really love that i think it's cool um but that's really you know all i can really gather from this photo she reminds me a lot of crystal but you know crystal is our indigo queen and so I don't know if just because they're both in the same color family, I don't know, just from what I see, she reminds me of Crystal, which is not a bad thing because I love Crystal. Crystal is a beautiful doll. The last doll is the purple doll and she is interesting. So I'm going to be straight up with you guys. She is the one that I like the least out of the six we were shown. She has a band-aid on her nose. It makes me think of Junior High Jade. She has these flower stickers and I'm kind of hoping like all this stuff on her face is removable. I don't know if it would be though. So I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm concerned about that just a little bit. Um, she's got painted nails. I don't know how I feel about her. I really don't. If you, if she happens to be your favorite, that is totally fine with me. I just, I'm not feeling her and I don't know why. Maybe that will change when I see a full picture of the doll. And there you have it, my lovely friends, my overall thoughts and opinions on the Rainbow High Series 4 leaks. I am extremely excited for this line. Like I said, it appears to be very experimental and they're doing a lot more diverse things and I am so here for it. I am beyond excited. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Just remember to respect each other and myself. Keep them positive and polite. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody.